Hi guys, thought I'd do a little video. Basically, we've been asked a few times now about questions as to what the difference is between our swings, different swings, uh, different manufacturers, and why a simple swing set is coming in at, you know, three, four, five hundred pounds. Some swings are coming in at 200 pounds that you can buy off the shelf. It's a simple one between what you pay for and what you get. So this bit of wood here, Hold it to my legs, it's literally, well, less than a finger. They do make it nice and easy. Got little codes on there, you put it up. But this swing here, we don't even use this wood for, for the balustrades on our actual climbing frame. So the fence post itself is the difference between what, what this TP has as an actual swing. There you go. That's the movement that you're going to get. I do have some neat ideas about how they've added straps and other bits, but it's every single thing is going to be downsized, and that's how you get your money. So these here are just literally the swing hangers are just a few millimeters. I don't know, probably five, six, seven millimeters. They go through, and it actually forms part of the brace, and actually holds the bracket. I can't look at it there. That actually holds part of the bracket. Because this wood is then so thin, these here, focus up, are the lag screws going into there. So that movement you get, not even pushing it really very hard, is what you're going to be getting when you put these lag screws into here to hold this metal bracket. It's not even coming off that metal bracket. Now, every single frame has issues. Every single frame goes up and down. I mean, we get phone calls and stuff about graining in our wood and other bits and pieces. Then all wood is gonna do exactly the same. So as it dries out, you're gonna get these little grains are gonna open up just slightly. Um, it's, it's nothing normally to worry about because it's just wood being what wood does. What is to worry about is when you start off with a very small unit, it's only going to be downwards from there because as your kids get bigger it's going to go upwards the weight goes upwards the swinging goes further and the set can't cope with it so on this set to make it obviously so cheap and make it into a box ready just to send out they're sending very small lumps of wood that you bolt through with the smallest of leg screws into these. Now our swing beam personally is actually over double that. We use a four by four. That's probably, I don't know, three inches, one and a half by three as a main swing beam. Our braces, again, we would use this sort of type wood just to build the A-frame with a four by four length of wood to hold the main leg. And even then, if you abuse it too much, like there's been some recent photos that one of our old clients has put up, if you abuse it, it will come apart and it will move because it's wood. If you don't keep tightening it like we say, then it will again come apart. You can't put in a wooden structure and never tighten it because wood swells and shrinks. So you do need to wait until it dries out, wait until a hot few days, wait till you used it and it's all bedded down and then screw the thing in again. If you do really want any advice about what to buy, where to buy from and how to buy it, then, then let us know. Contact us on www.climbingframeinstaller.co.uk.